Wellington, the food and drink capital of New Zealand, not to mention being the actual capital city of New Zealand. Today we'll explore some of the best places to eat around Wellington that you don't want to miss. Now on that note, it's time to start filling our faces with some yummy food. So welcome to Eva Street. This is actually one of the tastiest little lanes in Wellington. They have all of these cute little kiosk places where you can just grab something from the window. Now we've heard of this really, really cool peanut butter place which we're gonna go and check out and the chocolate factory which we're gonna check out a little bit later. But now it's time to grab some food. Okay, so we have come here to a cute little place called the Fix and Fog. Now it's basically just like a little kiosk just at the window and they do the most amazing peanut butter. So you can get like peanut butter on toast. I've gone for the, it's kind of like a wild berry one. It's got banana and like a chocolate peanut butter on the bottom with some berries on the top. Look how good that looks. Now it's time for the taste test. That's actually really, really good. Okay, so we have come here to another food place. This place is called Ekim's. Now, I've been recommended this place to have the best burgers in Wellington. So, of course, we had to come and pay a visit. This place is so, so quirky. It's basically like an old van, and he's, like, converted it into, obviously, a burger place. So he makes all the burgers inside the van. Everything is graffitied, and, the, like, the decor around here is amazing. It's basically, like, old desk chairs, and it's, like, real vintage. It reminds me of, like, an old yard kind of thing, but it's just, like, everywhere you look, and the surrounding is just amazing. So I can't wait to try these burgers. just came and look how delicious this looks I just took one bite and honestly it is amazing like such a good burger highly highly recommend Okay, so we are here at a place called Scopa, and now we've come here because of one thing, and that is the Scopa hot chocolates. Now, apparently these are famous. The guy was just telling us that people come all over the country and actually the world to taste these hot chocolates. So it looks kind of like thick, like a thick, gooey, like... It smells amazing, so I'm literally just gonna give it a taste test. <laughs> Oh my god, it just coats your whole entire mouth. That's like drinking pure chocolate. I wish I got a large one now. I'm gonna have some of yours, Anna. That's delicious. Mm. Oh my god, that's so amazing. It's literally like melted chocolate. It doesn't look like a hot chocolate itself. I am a very big fan of hot chocolates and that one is definitely on my top list. Oh my god. And for this hot chocolate, we brought a very important person to the blog. Middle friend, Dee! Hello, I'm Dee. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is going to be good. Mm. Mm. 
it literally tastes like you're drinking like the chocolate mixture out of a bowl after you've eaten like the cake. Yeah. It's so good. Yes. Oof. That's the benefit of having a local with us. So Dee has lived in Wellington for a long time and she's the one giving all those tips, you know. So well done Dee. Thanks Dee. <laughs> my waffle here and these look absolutely amazing I got like a dark berry forest one it's got cream and everything just the way she was making it again that thing of Wellington having these little tiny kiosks like she literally had like a two by two square probably not even two meters and she made these most amazing waffles and I just need to dig in After that hot chocolate, that is so sweet, absolutely amazing. And the waffle itself is like so light and fluffy. Ha <laughs> ha. tells you the origin so this one's an orange milk chocolate and honeycomb and then I've got two others as well but how cool so you get three different tastes and then you get the water in between I'm just really excited to try them let's try the bomber first that's actually really good oh the honeycomb heavy washed this is Rose hip, red currant, pink grapefruit. Ooh, okay. You should have some water in between. To okay. Taste out. Ooh, that's like soda. It's like soda water. They actually are quite different as well. I think I like that one more. It's a stronger taste, that one, definitely. It's more strong than this one. This one's more subtle. Raspberry, red currant, and lychee. Don't forget the water to clean your taste. Oh! It actually does have like fruity taste to it. It actually does taste fruity. I like it. I like it a lot. Alrighty guys, that was the Wellington food tour. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye.